It's the ultimate symbol of American power and prestige. A remarkable feat of engineering, luxury, and security all combined into a single aircraft. Here are the top 10 things you didn't know about Air Force One. Number 10. Air Force One isn't technically a plane. It's simply the official air traffic control call sign of the United States Air Force plane carrying the President of the United States. This means that any Air Force plane that carries the President is technically Air Force One. However, in common practice, the term Air Force One is used to denote the iconic three-level symbol of American exceptionalism that we're familiar with. At about the same height as a six-story building, Air Force One features four powerful General Electric engines with a maximum thrust of over 56,000 pounds each. The top speed is about 600 miles per hour, and it can fly at an altitude of up to 45,000 feet, which is approximately 10,000 feet higher than a typical commercial aircraft. Able to accommodate 76 passengers and 26 crew members with 4,000 square feet of interior space, Air Force One has a maximum takeoff weight of 833,000 pounds and a range of 7,800 nautical miles. This mammoth modern marvel also isn't cheap. With a cost to build of $660 million back in the early 90s and over $200,000 now to operate for every hour it's in flight. Number 9. There are actually two Air Force One planes in operation. Since it is standard practice to have a backup aircraft available for use in case the primary plane becomes unavailable due to maintenance or other issues, having two planes also allows for one to be utilized for travel while the other is being prepared for another upcoming trip. This ensures that the President of the United States always has a fully operational and secure aircraft at their disposal. The two planes are identical and are designed as VC-25A, which are highly customized versions of the Boeing 747-200B. Number 8. Every Air Force One flight is classified as a military operation, requiring a meticulous preparation process. Before takeoff, the Marine One helicopter transports the President from the White House to Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. Upon arrival, the Air Force inspects the runway and aircraft, ensuring they are ready to safely transport the President and his motorcade to his plane. Once the safety checks have been completed, the mission can commence, and Air Force One will take flight. The Air Force is highly protective of its most advanced aircraft, and only a select few have the privilege of seeing it from the inside. Even those in the highest echelons of power are not allowed access to certain parts of the plane and the precise details of its layout, avionics, and defenses are kept strictly confidential. Number 7. Bulletproof windows, along with reinforced fuselage and wings, are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to defending this flying fortress. The President of the United States is Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, and as such, Air Force One is equipped with a highly sophisticated self-defense system, including an electronic countermeasure methodology that effectively interferes with and jams enemy radar and makes it close to impossible to be traced. In the event of an attack, the plane can deploy countermeasures to disrupt the missile's guidance system, including anti-missile flares and mirror ball defense technology located in the wings in order to scramble infrared missile guidance systems. The body of this super strong 747 is built to withstand even a nuclear blast from the ground. If the situation calls for it, Air Force One can be escorted by fighter jets while in flight, providing an extra layer of protection. This may not typically be the case, but make no mistake, Air Force One is continually tracked, monitored, and surveilled by ground, air, sea, and space-based assets. Suffice it to say, that wherever the President of the United States goes, there are more than adequate U.S. air, land, and sea combat forces either very close by or in the near vicinity that can quickly respond in the event of any kind of emergency situation. Number 6. A visible physical threat is far from the only danger that must be guarded against, and Air Force One is a highly secure aircraft with more ways than one, most notably via its advanced and cutting-edge communications network, which protects the President and the plane from intrusion. Onboard electronics feature about 238 miles of wiring, along with heavy-duty shielding strong enough to protect against even an electromagnetic pulse. Secure data networks, digital encryption, 
and biometric access control all enable the president to safely stay connected with the White House, other government leaders, and military personnel via the use of secure satellite telephones. On top of its 85 onboard phones, Air Force One is also equipped with a number of emergency communication systems. These include a survivable low-frequency system that can be used to communicate with underground bunkers and other safe locations in the event of a nuclear attack, as well as an advanced airborne command post that can be used to control U.S. military forces in the event of a global crisis. Number 5. Yes, as you'd expect, there is a modern and luxurious presidential suite in the nose of the plane to provide the president with all the creature comforts of home while in the air. But what you may not know is that for more than 75 years, the group responsible for operating and maintaining Air Force One is called the Presidential Airlift Group, which was established in the wake of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's order in 1944 and originally called the Presidential Pilot Office. Subsequently, various propeller-driven aircraft served the president until President Dwight D. Eisenhower flew to Europe aboard VC-137A, a Boeing 707 Stratoliner, in August 1959. Number 4. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy made history as the first president to travel in a jet aircraft specifically designed for presidential use, a more advanced and long-range Boeing 707. Kennedy also oversaw the aesthetic redesign of the plane, which is the blue and white decoration still used today. Throughout the years, multiple other planes have been used, with the first of the current aircrafts being delivered in 1990 during the administration of President George H.W. Bush. This marked a new era of luxury, speed, and security in the president's transportation, paving the way for the modern presidential jet fleet of today. Number 3. Ahead of every flight, the Air Force sends C-141 Starlifter cargo carrier plans, which transport the President's motorcade to the final destination. This ensemble of bulletproof limousines and vans, loaded with weaponry, ensures the President remains safe on the ground. Additionally, Air Force One is always followed by the EB-4 Advanced Airborne Command Post, which is known as the Doomsday Plane. This is an airborne nuclear bunker and command center that was designed at the height of the Cold War to safeguard against a nuclear attack. The most of the EB-4's tech specs and capabilities are classified, but we do know that one of these planes is always on 24-hour alert seven days a week. Number 2. Air Force One has an incredible ability to refuel mid-flight with the help of a KC-10, giving it virtually unlimited range. But if you've seen the 1997 movie Air Force One starring Harrison Ford, then you probably already knew that. But what you may not know is that the film's featured use of a presidential escape pod and parachute ramp are pure fiction. That's not to say that equally incredible features do not exist, but if they do, they remain strictly classified. But one piece of information we do know is that the president always arrives at Andrews Air Force Base with the most critical and precious cargo, the football. This is a special briefcase where within lies the codes for nuclear deployment. It is the solemn duty of an Air Force officer to guard the football during the flight, before entrusting it to an Army officer on the ground upon landing. Number 1. As advanced as Air Force One is, it is now due for an upgrade. Initially slated to be completed in 2024, the delivery date for the two new Boeing aircraft has now been pushed back to 2026 or 2027. The entire project is estimated to cost over $5 billion and will include two new 747-8 airliners that will undergo extensive modifications, most of which still remain under wraps and have not been released to the public. What has been released to the public, however, are many of the incredible ways the President stays safe while at home in Washington, D.C. Click the video appearing on your screen right now and you'll discover the top 10 White House security features that are insane. I'll see you there momentarily.